Somerset Street in Ottawa, the entrance to Chinatown. Chinatown, a, a multicultural village with an Asian flair. Yeah, Frank Lloyd Wright's prairie style influence in the architecture. Uh, I'm Chinese born Canadian, uh, first generation. My parents immigrated here in the 50s. Chinatown originally was on Bank Street, which is downtown, and that consisted of a laundromat and a restaurant across the street from each other. Like my father worked at the restaurant that was in Chinatown on Bank Street, and then he, you know, he learned the ropes, learned the business, eventually became like the bartender there, the head bartender there, and then him and his my him and my uncle and other relatives decided to open up their own restaurant, which is now the Shanghai restaurant. So they opened it in 1971, which before this, it was more of a Greek, uh, Jewish, Italian, kind of British uh, neighborhood. Um, so when my parents moved in here, it kind of started a trend of uh, building it into what is now known as Chinatown, like 40 years later. Uh, so yeah, we could start our tour. Every Chinatown has dim sum, right? And you know those big, huge dim sum places that seat a thousand people? So here in Ottawa, we have two really popular ones, and they're just across the street from each other. So there's the Yangtze and the Shuxing. Uh, they're both family-run businesses. They've been uh, real stakeholders in the community, uh, like cornerstones in the community. The communal flavor of Ottawa's dim sum restaurants offers a bite-sized glimpse into what Chinatown could be. Bright, vibrant, but most importantly, busy. They're one of the, the oldest running businesses in Chinatown. And it's not the most affluent community. So with the BIA, they have, they started a project with different artists in Ottawa. It was called the Chinatown Mural Project. Uh, and behind you, you'll see like a really cool mural that uh, shows effectively what murals do in neighborhoods for, that are affected with graffiti. Like that wall was constantly tagged every weekend kind of thing and always cleaned. So now it hasn't been, that mural is maybe a year and a half old and it kind of garners respect and it cleans the community up. Which is why Chinatown underwent its biggest makeover yet. Behind us, we have the Chinatown Archway. It was built back in April 2010. It cost $1.5 million. There's actual real gold in it. It took under eight months to build, 20 different workers from the Hunan province. After they built this one, they went to New Zealand to work on an archway there and Mexico City. But in a small shop on Somerset Street, the shine of the gate has worn off. This store here has been almost 40 years, mm. but because different owner, mm. I'm owned this eight years. Weekday is quiet though. And down there they go to step uh, there, uh, is it Zen Kitchen? Gone. Mm. Oh. Quite a few is gone, yeah, still good. We need, we need some miracle help. <laughs> it's no good anyway. It's not much change. I actually have tour maps. Festivals like Chinatown Remix could be that change. Uh, the space. So it's a pretty cool festival because it, it incorporates art into spaces that normally wouldn't display art. So like a laundromat, uh, a Korean barbecue. Uh, it's a great way for the community to get involved in the businesses and and then the businesses 
uh, with a different, everybody's so different, they have such a different background, it gets them involved in the community. So it really introduces two different polar groups together and the festival draws a lot of people and art kind of has a way of crossing, bridging people and culture. So uh, yeah, that's really successful and it's going on its eighth year. Came for a dessert place, but we found out that there was something else going on, and so now we're going all throughout the streets of Chinatown, and we're trying to get some stamps. Art is great, so <laughs> <laughs> I kind of really love it. I thought it would be a bit more like, because I'm from Vancouver, I, th I figured it would be a bit more like the Chinatown there, but it's really different, and it's a lot more diver diverse. The one here is actually like quite nice. And like there's a lot of little cool stores and like apparently a lot of really cool artists that like I wouldn't have known about otherwise, right? And it's beautiful every year uh, to see like the local art and also just like the food is a big thing for me. Uh, curry putin. And that was the general task for putin. A minute on the lips, life on the hips. <laughs> With initiatives like the festival, one thing's for certain. Ottawa's Chinatown will continue to evolve and change the face of the nation's capital.